Well hi guys and gals and here's today's video. I'm going to um, go a little bit away from the, my own data this time and um, here is a little bit about flattening the curve with Dr. Scott Gottlieb. Folks in the White House have been looking at that model and that model has been similar to what, what the administration has been modeling, what CDC has been modeling and putting forward. I think one of the revealing things for folks inside this the is my thing right for now Italy. Is that when you look at you look at Hong Kong and Singapore, their economies have largely restarted. The consumers have their come cases back. are peaking now. They're in restaurants. Now. They're going out. They're wearing masks. They're taking caution. Life this guy is brilliant. Exactly what it used to be, but they've come back. In China, the consumer has not come back. Factories have restarted. Government-run factories and other factories have restarted, but consumers are still scared to go out. And so, I think what that tells you is you really need to definitively defeat this virus to bring the. That's it. You do indeed. And there were some good interviews with Dr. John Campbell and George Galloway and a, a doctor from Tajikistan. Now, um, last year, there was this pandemic preparedness thing. It said it spotlights massive preparedness gap. Event 201. This is all on the public information on their website, OK? This is where one of the... Um, uh, conspiracy theories comes from okay the fictional John Hopkins pandemic experts blah 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 a, not an uncontrolled coronavirus outbreak from South America uh, immune resistant virus label and uh, labeled caps blah 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 as a heavyweight group of policymakers well actually when you watch the videos the discussions really aren't very heavyweight at all okay um, and then there were some other pandemic preparedness things that they did at various other times. To me, that's just a coincidence, OK? They did combine, though, the results from that into a global health security index. And they were looking at which countries were the most prepared. That's interesting. Because as you can see, Southeast Asia... Oh, America most prepared and Canada. We're even among the most prepared. And they're saying Asia's not. Well, that turns out to be rubbish, doesn't it, really? Um, <laughs> the more red it is, the less prepared they are. Well, you'd expect, yeah, Africa's going to be poor. So they're not likely to be very well prepared. But it turns out, actually, the best prepared countries were people like Singapore, South Korea, uh, Japan. Um, Europe didn't do quite so fantastically but still anyway uh that's quite interesting ghs index org um yeah event 201 okay thank you to the members of the press that attended okay so you've got some press releases pandemic exercise event 201 underscores immediate need for global public private cooperation to mitigate Severe economic and societal impacts of pandemics. Global business and government leaders play in pandemic exercise, demonstrating world's need for new partnerships. OK. Um, that's true. They were good conclusions for immediate release. It underscores the immediate need for global public-private cooperation to mitigate severe economic and societal impacts of pandemics. October the 17th to... 2019 so i i was going to look i thought i'm going to look on google trends to see if i can find a couple of things were people in china talking about coronavirus and were people in america talking about it well this is the united states yellow okay yellow is people talking about pandemics red is sars and Blue is coronavirus. Well, very, very few people. This is when the John Hopkins University thing was, around about the 18th, 17th, 18th of October. And basically around the time of that event, hardly anybody was talking about any of those things. Hardly anybody was taking the slightest interest in what they were saying. So it seems. OK, you go into December. It goes up a little tiny bit. A few people talking about pandemic, OK? SARS and coronavirus, hardly anything. Just a little bit of an uptick, though, in December. This is in the United States. And then suddenly, on the 31st of December, up, people start talking about SARS. 
very interesting okay China on my slow computer on my very 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 slow computer again SARS coronavirus pandemic very few people talking about a little bit of discussion of SARS tiny just of the odd few people a few people talk about pandemic then coronavirus appears 18th of December 4th of December just tiny tiny amounts and then into early January you start to see it appear 12th of January 11th of January but you had a sudden spike in the number of people talking about SARS or searching for SARS on Google in China look at the top left okay in China people are talking about SARS I wonder if that's because of Dr. Li Wenliang and other people ah your research doesn't have enough data to show here but I wonder if that's Hubei province I wonder if that's Hubei province I don't know if it is or not but you can see that they were talking about it in China they were talking about pandemic they were talking about SARS and they were talking about coronavirus on the 31st of December Shanxi, Beijing, Zhenjiang and some other places very very interesting let's just go down there again ah it doesn't have enough data maybe that's Hubei province can anybody tell me if that's Hubei province no Shangji okay Google's very clever um, if we go to the 21st of January internet chatter there was a spike from the 31st of December and all of a sudden on 21st of January 20th of January and 21st a lot of people talking about SARS and a lot of people talking in blue about coronavirus sudden spike on the 21st of January in people talking about SARS and coronavirus well Wuhan was locked down on the 24th but very very little traffic before that not very much as I, as I showed before this that was China okay let's have a look some other dates 1st of October to 15th of January so this is before the 21st that's when you had the spike talking about SARS, uh, talking about SARS as I said very very little on coronavirus just a couple 4th of December 18th of December and uh, and 11th of January 12th of January not a lot yeah not a lot um, kind of interesting really um, if we just go for coronavirus yeah it's the same I think yeah just just a just a couple of appearances yeah very very little in China so I was really looking to see if people were talking if there was any interest in that John Hopkins University pandemic exercise which obviously there wasn't um, and here I have again this is worldwide just a little bit of chat I don't know why it's like every few days in SARS on SARS okay very little on coronavirus in blue very little on pandemics in yellow and then suddenly as you're coming up to the 15th of January you start to see coronavirus starting to appear here look and you and you get a spike in talk about SARS first in red on about on the 31st of December there's the 31st of December though there's some more people talking about SARS on the 4th of December okay but I mean there was not a lot more than than any anywhere else any other time but the coronavirus started to appear on about the 9th of January okay that's kind of interesting uh, let's have a look survival pandemic walk walk through <laughs> I don't know it's a game yeah um interesting survival to pandemic walkthrough people started talking about it in december don't even know what that is but it's, it's some sort of computer game i guess um yeah coronavirus how about coronavirus itself i think i've just shown that coronavirus is in um no we've got sars coronavirus again yeah very quiet really but that spike on the 31st of December so that doesn't really tell us anything new 
Escape Survival 2 Pandemic Warrior Level 101 Walkthrough. I don't know anything about that game. Know nothing about it at all. Okay. So while I let that run, let's just have a look at some more graphs. Um, interest over time again. This is going to January the 26th now. And you're going to see suddenly, there's your January the 21st. Up it goes. Up it goes. Coronavirus up to the sky. And quite a lot of people talking about SARS again. There's your, there's your end of December spike. And they're still talking about SARS here, but they're talking about coronavirus more. No talk about pandemic. Okay. Uh, kind of interesting. Uh, was that in China? Was that, that was in China. So coronavirus was becoming interesting in China. Uh, interest over time. Coronavirus, SARS, pandemic, COVID. Uh, and this is to the end of March. This is to kind of yesterday. Um, from the beginning of October, if it decides to show itself. Which is a bit of a pain in the bum. Let's have a look at this escape thing. I've no idea what this game is. Tiny Bunny start mission. Level 101. Move down the escalator. Escape survival pandemic warrior. Level 101 walkthrough. Doesn't look much like the coronavirus to me. Yeah, I don't know what this is about. Let's see if there's anything in the description. Uh, oh, it looks like it's in Korean. Escape room hidden mysteries. Survival 2. Pandemic. No comments. Not a lot of... Uh, not a lot of people watch that video. Um, okay, here we are. Uh, 26th of January, yeah. People talking about coronavirus, as I said, a lot of them. And then if you come to March, okay, so this is October, December, February, March. February here, you had a few people talking about SARS. A lot of people talking about coronavirus going down a bit for some reason. And then going up a lot into March. And this is worldwide. Huge number of people talking about coronavirus and then COVID-19, COVID starts to come up and people kind of replacing the term coronavirus, which is going down with COVID, which is going up. And that's about what you'd expect. But